a zoo is a place where you can go and view animals from a safe distance. Many of the animals at the zoo are wild animals from all around the world. Many large cities have park-like zoos, where you can walk in the gardens and have picnics. These zoos usually house mammals, birds, reptiles and fish. Some zoos have only animals from around their area, such as desert animals. The zoo helps you understand how animals live. Today, zoo animals are kept mostly in areas that resemble their natural habitat. Sometimes there are fences and no cages. Some zoos have breeding programs to keep increase the numbers of endangered animals to save them from extinction. You can learn many things at the zoo. You may think that the only way to learn is to observe the animals, but there are other ways of learning when you visit the zoo. You can join trained guides or helpers on a guided tour, attend a lecture given by a zoo education officer, or attend a zoo day camp. You can also observe and attend and caring for animals, read zoo signs, magazines, books and pamphlets, watch a zoo video presentation, and visit a zoo website. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that suckle their young. There are over 150,000 species of mammals. Common mammals that you can see at the zoo include elephants, giraffes, hippos, rhinos, zebras, bears, lions, tigers and kangaroos. Primates are a subgroup of mammals. This subgroup includes humans, monkeys and apes. Primates have hands and feet, binocular vision and a very well-developed brain. Common primates that you can see at the zoo include gorillas, chimpanzees and orangutans, as well as smaller apes like monkeys and gibbons. The reptiles are cold-blooded animals that lay eggs. They are usually covered with scales or horny plates. Reptiles use lungs to breathe. Common reptiles that you can see in many zoos include alligators, crocodiles, turtles, tortoises, lizards and snakes. Birds are warm-blooded, winged, feathered animals that lay eggs. Some birds fly, while others are flightless. Common birds that you can see in the zoos include parrots, peacocks, penguins and emus. Many years ago, animals for zoos were caught from the wild. When zoo animals die, zoos would get more animals from the wild. Today, most zoos have breeding programs. The zoos try to breed animals to replace the ones that die, instead of getting them from the wild. Zoos can also get animals from other zoos. Modern zoos have enclosures instead of cages. The enclosures look like the animal's natural habitat. They may have grass and trees, logs for the animals to play on, and places for the animals to shelter and hide. Animals from the same area of the world are often found in one enclosure of the zoo. This is because they share the same type of habitat. Some enclosures are fenced. Another way of keeping animals in the enclosures is to build moats around them. Moats are also a good way of keeping animals away from other animals that might attack them. There are some zoo animals that have inside enclosures. These animals may need a warm, moist environment or a cold, dry one. It is easier for zoos to regulate these particular climates inside. Zoos often have a special indoor area where you can see nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animals usually sleep through the day. They wake up at night when they hunt for food. The nocturnal houses are kept dark in the day so that the animals think it is night. Special dim lights allow visitors to see the animals. Some zoos have special sections called children's zoos, especially for very young children. In the children's zoo, young children can touch and feed some animals. 
They can also take time out from their zoo visit to play. Some animals are becoming very rare. The zoos actively work to keep these endangered animals from becoming extinct. One of the main ways that zoos prevent extinction of rare species is to implement breeding programs. But this is not always easy, because a male and a female of an endangered species may not mate when they are put together. For example, Auckland Zoo has a breeding program for Tuatara. Tuatara are reptiles that are native to New Zealand. Due to predators and loss of habitat, they are endangered. The zoo provides a safe environment for male and female Tuatara in the hope that they will breed. Young Tuatara are looked after at the zoo until they are adults. Then they are put into protected areas in the wild. You may not realize just how many people work at the zoo. If you visit the zoo, the only people you may see are the attendants who admit you at the gate and keepers feeding animals. But there are other important people working behind the scenes. A director is in charge of a zoo. Most zoos get money from the government or local council. The director makes sure that the money is spent wisely and that the zoo runs well. A curator is often a zoologist. A zoologist is a person who has studied animals and knows a lot about them. A curator's job is to look after the animal collection. Large zoos have several curators, each one looking after a different group of animals. Keepers look after the animals. They feed the animals and clean out their living areas. Keepers also groom the animals and make sure that the veterinarian checks them regularly. Each keeper looks after a different group of animals. Most zoos have veterinarians to look after sick or injured animals. A vet also advises the zoo how to keep the animals healthy. Some zoos have more than one vet. And some big zoos also have animal nurses. A zoo dietitian checks the food each animal needs. Some animals eat fruit and vegetables, some eat meat and some eat cereals. Other animals eat unusual foods like mice, worms or insects. A dietitian makes sure each animal has the right food to keep it healthy. A dietitian also makes sure each animal has the correct amount of food each day. Gardeners look after the grounds, plants, shrubs and trees in the zoo. Some zoos plant special trees and shrubs for the animals to eat. An example is Taronga Park Zoo in Australia that grows eucalyptus trees for the koala. Taronga Park also sends eucalyptus leaves to zoos all over the world that keep koalas. Some of the other people who work in zoos are office managers, gatekeepers, restaurant and cafeteria staff, gift shop assistants, education staff, and many maintenance staff. When was the last time you visited the zoo in your area? Today we have come to the zoo 